This program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest UCTV programs. Mediterranean climate ecosystems are among the most biologically diverse regions on Earth. Geological history has had a powerful influence on the evolution of each region's native species. The geology of the five Mediterranean climate regions can be differentiated into two types, old and stable, and young and active. The Cape region of South Africa and Southwest and South Australia are both ancient landscapes with infertile soils. These regions have experienced relatively little geologic disruption for 120 million years. By contrast, the Mediterranean Basin, California, and Central Chile are younger landscapes. Large portions of these areas were inundated by shallow seas. When Southwest Australia and the Cape region of South Africa were already dry land. In more recent times, these younger landscapes have been further altered by mountain building, glaciers, and earthquakes. In the old landscapes, millennia of weathering have leached a good portion of the nutrients from soils. To survive in these environments, plants have evolved special traits. For example, the Banksias of Australia and the Proteas of South Africa grow roots that form shallow, mat-like clusters. These roots have a tremendous amount of surface area, which helps them absorb nutrients like phosphorus. Some roots also release compounds that help take up minerals from the soil. These ancient, stable landscapes were also spared major climate and soil upheavals and have experienced relative environmental stability for over 20 million years. Such enduring conditions enabled many plant lineages in these regions to persist and diversify into myriad new species. In South Africa's Cape region, more than 9,000 different plant species are found in the area's signature Thainbos heathlands, and over 80% of those are found only in Thainbos. The type of sandstone that formed Thainbos soils is virtually devoid of nutrients, so ericas, proteas, and other Thainbos plants have become extremely efficient at using what nutrients they can glean. The trade-off is that, overall, these shrubs grow more slowly than those from more fertile regions. This, plus the fires that burn as frequently as every 10 to 15 years, makes Thainbos habitat sparse and open. The effects of poor soil can be seen throughout the Thainbos food web. Because the vegetation isn't very nutritious, the biomass of plant-eating insects here is relatively small, making insect-eating birds scarce as well. By contrast, Chile, California, and the Mediterranean Basin have had more tumultuous histories. All are located on the edges of tectonic plates. The process of one tectonic plate diving beneath the other, known as subduction, spurs the formation of volcanoes, uplifts mountain ranges, and causes earthquakes. Such upheavals formed new kinds of rocks and increased the variety of soil types, helping to foster more biological diversity. 
This can be seen in the plant communities that grow on the gray-green serpentine soils of California and the Mediterranean basin. Much of California's serpentine formed during subduction. Subduction heated and compressed the rock, changing its chemistry. Further earth movements pushed the resulting serpentine rock to the surface. Soils derived from serpentine rock contain heavy metals toxic to plants and lack critical nutrients. To eke out a living on such inhospitable ground, native plants had to evolve new traits. Many of these species exist only on serpentine outcroppings. An understanding of geological history can help inform conservation practices used in Mediterranean climate ecosystems. For example, the two older Mediterranean climate regions have many plant species with small populations found in a limited area. They have evolved in very localized combinations of weathered soils and topography. Because the distribution of these species is so localized, smaller, more fragmented preserves may be sufficient to protect their biodiversity. Yet plants in younger Mediterranean climate regions are generally distributed over much wider ranges. These species emerged relatively recently. They haven't had time to evolve into highly localized, unique species. Much of the plant diversity in these landscapes can be represented within a few large, strategically located parks. In this and other ways, the geological histories that shaped Mediterranean climate regions provide a framework to preserve these environments into the future.